G'day and welcome back. Let's play some more Tactics and Glory. Let's jump into this game against Sydney FC here. So we're second on the ladder. They are third. We should, hopefully, be able to get past these interceptions all the time. And Newbie should be able to cross for Grayson nicely here. 50 because of his single header ability. Uh, 80 versus 111. It's just his control. The best options we got. Beautiful. Very different to the last match. No score draw. All right, he's failed to pass over the Bauer. 129. About a 50% chance of missing. Bauer with the shot. Oof, nicely held by Sheffer. Now we have Clayton and Hatfield back this time. So, one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, it's fine. Um, we'll start with Hatfield doing the kickouts. Triple 10. Now, all Lombardy can really do is push Newbie wide this 3 CD setup. Tries it again. It's not going to go as well. Newbie forgets how to pass. Oh, and the winger comes all the way back. Right mid to Marco. Running half the length of the pitch already. Alright, DeMarco's hold is too good for anybody to fight. So instead... Grayson, I guess, should stay here. And we'll just throw... Let's say Welch into the spot. Grayson actually gets better if he moves forward a little. And let's bring Newbie back, just in case Lombardy gets moved or something. Still do his layoff over here. And Bauer's looking for it. Big loft, held by Viner. Oh, he's lost it. Does he have cannon shots? He has two of them. So Viner gets it back easily. And he's just going to loft it to Lombardy. Fails, expectedly. Selby's pickup isn't great, but it's good enough. 20 control. 13 control. We lose it fast. Jue comes in for the triple slider. Gets it easily. Way out of his position. Shot on goal. Blocked. Given away. 33 control. That's another Hatfield. Alright. Clayton's surrounded by Hatfields. It's a veritable Hatfield sandwich. Now the Hatfields are next to each other. Clayton's long ball through to Schofield. Can't really be used. So regular pass to Lombardy. Who just pushes Newbie out to the corner. Might be able to drag Golden. Awesome. Beautiful, uninterrupted header coming up. Jeez. Half time. Could have done the cross or could have just given it to him for a rainbow goal there. Saved by the whistle, Sydney. Alright, second half starts. Passing the Ricardo. And the guy looks at the goal, runs out wide. He's thinking about the break in. He attempts it. Oh, he's managed the break in. He didn't realise Hatfield was right there, but he's held him out anyway. 77 accuracy shot. Goes in. Crazy bad skills from Sheffer. Alright, Selby moves it out to Newby. Newby runs wide. Looks for the cross. Oh, House has held it. And now Grayson can't pick up another header. And DeMarco, you know he's going to pass to Nagata. Oh, he's going solo. Wants to take a shot. Yeah, he realises he's made a mistake. Moves back. Grayson moves in. Welch moves with him. Clayton wonders if he should move. Selby does instead. Centre midfielder. He's not going to be able to intercept it very well. And Hatfield's coming out. 138. Accuracy. Takes a shot. That should not have gone in by any stretch of the imagination. Schaffer's having a terrible match. Oh, and now the pass is intercepted by Rhodes. Terrible match here for Port Hedland. Schofield should have done that free press first. Selby will move to intercept. 
Hatfield wants it. Cross makes it in. Here's some um, big danger for the chance at a draw. Oh, it's gone to Hatfield. Beautiful. Hatfield. Long ball, Lombardy. Lombardy with a pass through. It's a double 10. Makes it. All right. Two moves left. Best option. Grayson here or into the middle? Here, that's unopposed. So he has to just move short. Newbies pass. Hopefully. Intercepted. They'll have one more shot. And with Grayson out of the way, it'll be ooh, up to a uh, shot on the keeper. If we can hold this, no. And now everything falls apart. All right, he would have no chance. Schofield can press. All right, I have to get lucky to salvage this. <coughs> no. All right, need to intercept. Failed. Has to intercept this pass. Failed. Match over. Sydney wins by ridiculously lucky low odd goals. Well, that's the game of football. And nothing to do there. Alright, they've slipped from second to fourth with that one loss. Leonora. Alright, and that is 3 2 1. Terrible. Alright, Geelong. Oh, they've got the terrible back line. Uh, so many just throw this up against us. Um, Header has to move back out here. But, they have no defensive midfielder, so put maybe Hatfield forward. Then Trammell can come back in for Selby. Alright, Nari starts with it. Pass to Stefan. Stefan with the move out wide. Is he going to try the break in? He is. What a fool. Alright, downs with the start. Tries to push to Lombardy. Can't make it. Lombardy picks it up anyway. Here's a cross to Newby. Just goes wide. And then hopefully Herman comes out to get it because Powers is one further away. This is what we like to see. Perfect positioning for Newby. Almost. Well, actually, yeah. Because he'd still... Yeah. And Lomity's actually in a good spot to pass it to Newby anyway. Now, Hanari. 41 control. Looking at Hatfield to do some good work here. Take over Lombardi's old position. Field just wants to get it to Welch. Pull another central defender out of the way. Beauty. Kikui has the lesser chance. Doesn't manage it. Powers is going to move down. Or not. Uh, Welch can back pass to Lombardy. What are we actually dealing with here? One playing out. One, two, three. Wouldn't work. Although by then he should have moved. Then he'll move back. I'm trying to think of a way for Grayson to actually get through there. Um. <clears throat> Alright, what's your chance of passing? Um. Alright. We want to get Schofield to get it. But he needs to receive it there. Which is a big problem. A newbie for a corner. 94 versus 96. It's actually okay. Alright, let's just do the loft. We don't even have to do that. We can just 
give it to Lombardi, who can get it in there. One, two, three. All right, it's a safer pass. Then his third. It's not an open enough shot. All right. Um, he can't cross because he's blocked and nobody else has skill, so they'd have to be in too far. Well, we need to go with the power shot. Just get lucky with this first one. There we go. Oh, and it goes the wrong way. Needed the corner there. Old Ben Kenobi passes it to Welch. <laughs> oh, beautiful foul. No injury. Now, their positioning matters. We can just do some rainbows here. Gofield has slightly more energy than Welch. Don't want to put a wall. That, uh, we're looking for the kicker first, of course. Um, kicker will be Lombardy. Schofield. Here. Welch. Here. Because these guys can't back each other up because they put the sweeper in the middle. So, Lombardy. Regular pass. Schofield. Schofield's rainbow. Well, either way would have been just as bad. Um, this is a 50% chance. And he's muffed it. Alright, Kui out. And Grayson can't get a header in either because there's still two people in front of him. Oh, seriously. Who was that? Stefan. 119 versus 204. Of course it goes in. Alright, newbie wide. Yeah, blocked easily by powers with triple heading. Have to intercept and be fouled. No possibility of an intercept here. No, we do get another one because of the minute of injury time. And he's kicked it the wrong direction. Alright, downs. You'd better be able to pass this to Lombardy. There we go. Final move. It's going to have to be Welch getting fouled here. No. Alright, fair enough half time. Let's take another kick off. Hatfield, newbie. Maybe wide. This is so unlikely to work. We shouldn't even really bother. So we won't. What was the actual chance? Yeah, no. Alright, instead he's just going to sit there and pull somebody out of position while Welch moves in. Herman's coming out. Gets it. Then the cross is short. It would be perfect. Oh, look at that. Beautiful intercept. Two options. Firstly, it's 50-50 there. Secondly, much better chance for this. Beautiful through ball. Triple nines. 94% chance of a goal. All right, pulls back a draw. It's enough time left to lose the match still. Especially newbie getting tired. Stefan intercepted by Downs. 82 to 112. They give up their shot. Uh, Lombardy might receive, and he does. Beautiful. Lombardy gets newbie out. He moves. I'll try the same thing again. Welch. We'll bring Herman. Not going to get the luck we had last time. Alright, positioning is good for a cross for Grayson. He is a CD, so he still can't move from there. Uh, 41. This is 14. We can use Schofield. One, two. Now, one, two, three. Not good enough. Lombardi has to. Get super lucky there. He does not. Hatfield can't really intercept. But he can try. So 
Gonna be trouble from Stefan. Ooh, gets it to Valenzuela. He all passed to Stefan. Stefan shot 120 versus 200. Again. Schaffer's just playing like crap the last couple of games. That field, out to Newby. He moves. Welch. Do we want to block him altogether? I think we just want to keep moving out here. And Welch moves in. Got one last shot to draw it up. Unfortunately, it's going to rely on an intercept of his long ball again. Which can't happen because he's tired. Damn it. Alright, Hanari has just played defensively. No possibility of recovering this. Two losses in a row for Port Edland. They started the season poorly and they've continued it poorly. Alright, nothing to do there. Downs though. Level 74. Nothing to be gained from that. He wants to learn how to be a sweeper. Sure, why not? Losing fans. And slip down to 6th place. Transfer window shall close tomorrow. Do you want to sell our crappy keeper? He's 28. It's probably the best time to get rid of him. He's still a good player, but we need Bartholomew to start training up properly. Do we want to do it? We really don't. But the season's going badly. So we will. No, because he's got the Olympic kick and the rainbow faint. No, we'll play him out to the end. Next. Okay. Uh, match against Wellington. Ugh, same nonsense here. Right, yeah, yeah. No defence midfielder. It's fine. Um, Hatfield can stay there. Match. Go. Bring the Kiwis. Alright, this time his sweeper has no bonus heading skills. But still a good chance of stopping it. Like that. But remember, newbie's tired. You know what? We'll uh, rest him. Nixon has control. Not great passing. Move two without the ball, but not with it. So this is where we bring in... Can move two without. Who is the one... Pretty sure it was him. Um, no. No, it wasn't Grayson. I don't know. Let's use Selby for Newby. Alright, he muffs the pass to Purcell. Purcell goes to pick it up. Takes a look, realizes he's too far away for a shot on goal, so he runs in. He has 13 control. Clayton doesn't want to move. Oh, there's this trammel. So instead, Welch gets into scoring position. Double keeping out. He's a little nasty. Uh, Hatfield doesn't want to move. Not of the Schofield. Newbie will. move here to get a short pass from Lombardi and then uh, Clayton's not moving anywhere alright intercept from Clayton Fowles Shook has the ball perfect grab but they've got two turns to get it off him so Bradshaw will try he's managed it 35 versus 77 that's not a good outcome some anger here from Clayton the pass forward to Lombardi. Screw it, he goes for Hatfield. Hatfield looks for Welch, triple 10. Looks beautiful as Welch lines up his rainbow feint and he's failed it with a 9% chance of it not working. Pass out to 10. And switches with Grayson. Interesting. 
that means 19, 14. Well, it means Schofield is going to press. He's down to 52. Terrible chance of Lombardi getting it. Grayson can actually just move in now. It'd be dangerous. Welch will move back as well. So we'll come down to whether Lombardi or Hatfield received the ball. Arnett, pass out to Shook. Shook shot. Shook shot shite. <sighs> but again, just proves whenever you have people in position for an easy goal, the other team scores with a low probability goal. Selby moves out. Across. Highly unlikely to work. That being said, he needs to get out of his way. <laughs> Alright, Bonds gets it easily. Puts Selby back into position for a cross. Perfect cross to Grayson. So, of course, it's half time. Oh, can't lose two in a row to lower teams. Arnott to Bradshaw. Bradshaw didn't see Viner waiting for him. Viner to Hatfield. Two turns. Welch goes in. Hatfield passes through. Seriously, with how low the probability is for some of these, it's just like it's not random number generation. Purcell through to Bradshaw. A direct shot on goal. Schaffer finally stops the ball. Now, Clayton. One, two, three, four, five. There's no need for him to do it, but he is the one who will do it anyway. Going to Hatfield. Can't mess up three of these in a row. Triple nine. Finally gets the equaliser. Alright, Arnett to Bradshaw. Is he going to do the same thing? Yes, he's just trying to pull him out so that he can score directly. Viner. Short pass to Hatfield. Schofield can't get in, so Welch has to do it. He's unfortunately getting tired. Triple eight gets through. Should be a triple eight. No, it's a triple seven. But still, it's good enough. All right, pass out to Bradshaw. Loses his morale. Tries a break in. No, he tries the shot from there. Goes to Trammell. Trammell's still just wanting to get it to Hatfield, really. So he does a short pass to Clayton. Hopefully Shook is in the way. He is indeed. So it's still two moves left. Welch, with extreme tiredness, receives the ball for hopefully a triple six. Yes. Beauty. Get that goal difference back. Alright, there'll be one more play. He has morale. Shot blocked straight to Clayton. That's what we like to see. That opens up options. One, two, three, four, five. So, through to Hatfield. Works. We can still get it through him. So we don't need to go up this way. Welch is now approaching extreme fatigue. Still two left. Triple fives. Odds are good. Oh, it's beautiful. Four to one makes up with their loss in the previous match. Not on the league table, but uh, Welch feels pretty good about that. Trammell gets better defence. Viner's defence. Clayton's passing. Two a defence for Schaffer as well. Nixon gets passing, and Bundy gets accuracy. Okay. Take a look at Bundy, level 45. Pretty sure he is still pretty darn young too. Bundy is 17, a level 45, 17 year old. We want him on the pitch. So, who is he going to replace? Becomes the question. 
He's got cannon. He's going to replace Welch. And he will move out there. All right, next match. Moved up the rankings back to fifth. Not too far out of the green zone. Lots of rain today. All right, against Albury. We are looking at some good cannon shots from either of these. He has a defensive midfielder. Do have Hatfield in there at the moment. Switch him for Tremel and then bring in Selby. Alright, so they'll be doing through balls up to Lombardi. He'll move him up. He'll do cannons. From the start, we'll pass over to Newby, who will move out to here and then cross for Grayson. Looks like should be an easy match. Double cannon from a 17-year-old is tremendous. Tsukahara fails to get it to Blalick. 54 passing. What is the negative here? 40% for the rain penalty. And Denny gets it to Blalick. Couldn't be bothered getting it himself. And then with 21 control, we're looking at Clayton moving out. Grabbing it off him. He can do a long ball potentially up to Nubi. He only has one CD. So we could actually get it to Schofield. Beautiful. Then that Schofield can attempt some rainbows. No CDs to defend here. Didn't check what he's got. Advance. Damn it. Alright then. Uh, Schofield won't be able to hold on to it. His shot on goal is going to be blocked easily from there. But fair enough. It gets him out of the way a little. No, it brings in Ash. Two left defenders not in their zone. Ash holds the ball. 65 control. We have Schofield. 29. 1, 2. Well, we'll be able to get a shot on goal here if we can get it. No, we won't because that uses a shot. But if we can get it, which we can, at least we can hold it with 27 control. Taken easily by Ash. 27 versus 83. Short pass to Hines. Intercept here would be beautiful. Alright, 62 control. Only. Well, Lombardy can't even do it. 29, 24. Newbie won't even bother trying. Alright, let's just get Bundy into scoring position. Fortunately, we only have Selby in there now. Um, Clayton wants to move back. Alright. Ball through to Blalick. He has accuracy. No comment. On Sheffer's complete inability to stop the ball with highest defence on the planet. Selby, through Nubi, makes it. Nubi is able to go here for the better cross. 80. Oh, that should be a goal. Beauty. They thought about the rainbows, but they didn't think about the headers. Tsiung. Blocked poorly. Clayton with the ball. You can get an extra shot if he passes through to Lombardy. Gets it. It's going to be the end of the half. Lombardy passes this out to Bundy. Bundy with his first touch in the big leagues. Oh, of course he's got a guy there. We should have moved back. Double fours. Unlikely. Fails. Alright, keep that in mind. I always forget about their abilities. But uh, Downs, who is completely fresh here, thinks about pass to Grayson or to Clayton. 33 passing. He isn't really going to like this loft as much as he's going to like the Olympic kick. Also, 62 control. Would really... I mean, it seems like a decent chance, but his cross is the bad part there. So, triple 10. Both of these stay in. No, 
kicked one out. So, oh, fails at the first hurdle. That is ridiculous. 96% chance that it got past him. All right, Bundy. Get your skills up. That was just ridiculous. Low probability nonsense from them. Let's get this through to Newbie. Newbie's going for the very corner for his cross. And fails the pass part. A, a bad player. Alright, ball through Bundy. Denny. Fails the pass. Who's going to pick it up to get it taken by Clayton? Good enough. Alright, this is the replay. Lombardy. Bundy remembers he can't do it from there, so... Comes out wider. Triple nines. Double nines. Gets through. Bam. Beautiful. Now, keeper's going to be more of a problem. But by the time he gets back down here, it should be alright. Vlalik. Ooh, other problem is Lackey. Vlalik comes forward. Alright, can't do this quickly enough. Need to pick up an extra, which we don't quite get. Pass to him, he won't be able to shoot. So we need to get it to somebody with high control. Which at the moment looks like Schofield. And I guess... Yeah, it's not terrific. But it gets through the first one. Schofield can rainbow once. Can't rainbow Vance. Very low chance there. He'll try it anyway. Ooh, unfortunately it goes directly to Gawai. Anywhere else would have been good. Alright, Gawai to Andrew. Andrew's pass through gives him another turn, so Lackey can pass it off. Oh, instead he wants to go solo. And he manages to pull a corner. Hatfield is doing as terribly as Schaffer these days. Alright, 21-17. They've got nobody to pass it to. That's interesting. Alright then. Downs pushes him out. Clayton is stuffed. Let's move. Actually, move Clayton in. Both of those should work. So we'll leave Hatfield there. And we'll just move Schofield past. That seems fine. Because then we can do a header if we need to. Ooh, he's messed it up terribly. But beautiful interception from Downs. Triple slider from Blalick. That's why we have Hatfield here, though. Oh, don't pass it back to him. You idiot. Alright, easy tackle. Hatfield can get a bonus. Alright. This is a job for... The layoff pass to Bundy. Last play of the game. Double cannon shot. Pulls it off. Beautifully. Rainbows and cannons. Nice having both. Gonna keep him on the pitch. He needs to um He needs to just get all of his bonuses here as quickly as he can. And Clayton got man in the man of the team. So here's where we need him to crank through. So we can get this started. Actually, we'll go. We can't do that without that. So we'll get this started so we can get to that one faster. And he'll just be awesome by the time he's 20. He'll have his uh, first of his second skills. Alright, up to fourth. Behind Newcastle. A little far behind these guys at the moment. Nagoya, first round of the group. To the stage of the Asian Oceanian Cup. Alright, Nagoya. It's just a group stage, so that's okay. We can keep Grayson there. So newbie over to Grayson. He has no heading ability. He has double playing out, so we'd rather do cannons, but then his sweeper will get in the way, which is why 
we would rather have Grayson here to sort of jump in, but I guess that's fine. And he has Cavazos. So we need to keep Selby in for the passes through him. Bundy's a little tired. I don't like that. Clayton is still tired as well. It's not worth bringing Trammell on. We need downs for the corners. All right. The weariness makes this a little harder. But we have a chance with the header. 80 versus 136. Okay, fair enough. He's pulled out, but he doesn't have Kanishi in there to block Bundy's double cannon. Does have a thing there, so we need to get it this way. Oh, beautiful work from Clayton. Uh, Yamanuchi. Looks a little dangerous. Don't really want Clayton coming that far forward. He is well and truly tired now. Can he get it through to Bundy? We'd get an extra turn, but that's not enough. So instead, get it to Newbie. Schofield wouldn't work. Hmm. If we do it here, we'll pull Sarder out. And he won't be able to cross because Grayson will have to move forward. We do need to get rid of it though, so I think. Triple fours. And then he could get a corner. Okay. First part works. Obviously you can't do the cannon. It's a power shot for a corner. Perfect. Alright, this is where Downs is going to do it because Higashiyama has high control plus double playing out. And the other one is counteracting cannon shot too. So it'll be a 50-50 from Bundy anyway. Um, we'll throw in Grayson just to take a look. And then it's just Gofield needs to get in position. Do you want to do rainbows against Higashiyama? 36 versus 15. 40. Versus, oh, it's actually a good chance of both of them staying in there. 100 versus 136. Doesn't seem as good as triple tens. So Olympic <laughs> kick is the way to go. Uh, held on to two of them. Beauty. Don't care about his eight if we have a ten. Alright, one goal up on not Nagasaki. Nagoya. And wonderful intercept by Downs once more. Unfortunately, he needs to do a loft to Lombardy. Oh, Selby, it's good enough. Newbie to drag out Kanishi. And there's nobody in the way if we want to block with. Damn, it was Welch that could do that move. Uh, Bundy. Right into the middle to block him as much as anything else. come out for it. This is going to look like a loft from Lombardy to Bundy for a less than 50% chance at a goal. Uh, Kanishi does have a lot of control here. I think we're going to want to go one, two, and he could do a through ball to Nubi over here for a cross to Grayson. Alright, third move. Schofield can start finding his way over. Yeah, we need to start with the ball on this turn. Yamanuchi passed through to Arai. 106 versus 209. Nice catch. But Hatfield has to get it through to Lombardi. Beautiful. Do you want the header? Do you want the cannon? Can't do a rainbow. CD, no, can't get him forward for the rainbow. And he'd be in the way anyway. So I'm thinking header. It's probably the better shot here. Beautiful. Comes down to 100 versus 136. Oh, unfortunate. Should have just kicked him, healed him in the head. Alright, we'll stay up at half time. Yamanuchi with the pickup. 
Oh, passes it through. They do have a shot on goal. Beautiful. Yeah, what he was trying to do there. All right, half time, one up. With Downs Olympic kick, definitely best player because he was doing some good defense there as well. All right, Yamanuchi over to Arai. Arai is going to do a break in and then have morale for his shot. But break in is going to be contested poorly by both defenders. Yep, not surprised that was a goal. Downs and Hatfield should have been able to stop that. So let's get it out to Nubi. Ooh, nearly intercepted by Cavazos. Nubi to the wing. Cross is unlikely to be a goal. Well intercepted. Get pushed out again. Really need Schofield to start coming in. Beautiful failed pass. Yamanuchi with the pickup. We need to intercept his pass now. No. We need to intercept Miyoshi's shot on goal. And yes. Alright, Hatfield to Lombardi. We've got three turns. Alright, Schofield. Schofield. That was not what I actually wanted to do. I forgot we needed the extra one. Um, let's lay off pass Bundy out here because he's further away from their players. Then we've got two guys set up at least. Bo coming back gets it easily. Alright, Bundy stays in position there. Big run down the pitch by Bo. Then a little further. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn. Um, Clayton's not great uh, much anymore, but he should be able to pick up the ball. Holding it, be another matter. Weak. Bo had the slider. So we've got three shots. I'm going to short pass to a Rye. His last shot should be a shot on goal. Intercepted, but given back. So then. Clayton with the pickup. Long ball. Double two. Not really worth the attempt. Alright, short pass to Hatfield. Gets the through ball to Lombardi. He can't do anything with one turn, so this is going to end as a draw. Unless Schofield or even Grayson. It's literally the only chance is for him to get fouled in the penalty area. No. And with the final turn, Bundy gets a bit of a skill up. Alright, a draw in the group stage isn't too bad. Bundy's accuracy, Schofield's defence. Halfway to the next one nearly. Fifteen million in the bank. Alright, continue on. Ranked fourth, up against Perth. Okay. We'll still be behind them if we manage this. But we know they can't line their guys up properly, so have to keep Selby in to circumvent Bayers. And then Newbie can run directly forward. Which guesses around Hushy Road by then have to do with Courtney. Um he can't run there. Okay. And then this time we will have the doubles from Bundy. He's going to have trouble getting where he needs to be because of Holden. So he's going to need to come in, which he can do. Clayton will need to rest this game. We'll bring Trammell in. We'll keep Hatfield back. All right, well, we'll do this next uh, video, but for now, thanks for watching. See you soon.